Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all, this is TGI fish, TGIF fish segment of the week. And we are back doing fish, y'all. We've been doing shrimp the last couple of weeks. And you can see by the preview picture and the title, we're going to do some old school fish and chips. All we do, all that is tempura catfish and some french fries. That's what I think near Eng in England they call it fish and chips. So, yeah, very simple. I actually got a tempura batter that I used to use at the place where I just retired from. This is some excellent product. Uh, kick them on tempura uh, batter. Let me get this out the way before I break it, y'all. Malt vinegar. You know, I love my malt vinegar. It's the only time I eat malt vinegar when I do fish and chips. So if you ain't got no, some of this Heinz malt vinegar, get it. It's perfect for fish and chips, y'all. Of course, you can use tartar sauce too, but I love malt vinegar on mine. First thing I'm gonna do, y'all, I got my catfish here. I'm gonna good and wash and clean. I'm gonna set it aside. Cause I gotta make my tempura batter first. And this tempura batter is very easy to make, y'all. I don't make a lot of powder stuff, but this one is worth the money. I'll do one to one, one cup of uh, tempura batter, one cup of water. So I'm doing a double batch. So I'm gonna do two cups of water, two cups of tempura batter, tempura flour. And I'm gonna use some flour, also this flour to dust my fish. But I'll show that to y'all in just a second. I just like to let this tempura set up a little bit. I got my fire heat up. And you need to use ice cold water, y'all, when you're making this. So I got some ice cubes in here, but I'm gonna take them out of here. I'm gonna get my spoon in here. Trying to scoop them out of here. I don't wanna put that in my in my batter. I just wanna make sure it's completely cold. Pour this in here. Like I say, two cups of batter. Cups of water, two and two, one and one. They should really, really mix in there good. And I like to let it kind of set up. And once it's set up, it's going to kind of thicken a little, and that's it. That's good to go. You know what? This is three cups. Two cups. Yes, yeah, two cups. Two cups of water, two cups of uh, flour. Oh yeah, and it's gonna actually, like I say, it's gonna thicken up. But you can do it as thick as thin as you want, but I don't want too thick of a batter. I want a nice crispy coating, but I don't like that real thick coating where you get a lot of breading, but not a lot of fish. I don't like that. So this will be perfect. So I'm gonna let that sit up. We'll be back here in about 15 minutes. And we're going to uh, dust the fish in the other tempura flour, put it in the, fry, uh, in the fryer. I've got some fries going in my air fryer. And we're going to eat some good old fish and chips today. TGI fish segment of the week. Just getting started. Be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Okay. My tempura batter is ready. Kind of thickening up just slightly. I don't want it no thicker than this. Move this over to the side. Now my fish here, I like to pat dry as much as possible. I use a paper towel, kind of pat it dry. Now with this here, I'm gonna put that right into the, and you can use regular flour if you want to, but all I do, y'all, I just use the tempura flour and just, you know, it makes it even better. So I just use the same flour I get you mixed for the tempura. You know tempura mix? I just use this same uh, flour Make sure this is closed, y'all. And just coat this with it. Nice coating there. All mixed up. Move this over to the side. Now, get my tempura here. Batter. All I'm gonna do, dust off the excess flour. Dip it right into the batter. Right into the grease, y'all. Very simple. Here, right into the grease. A couple of more, and then we're gonna finish these off. I'm gonna get my uh, fryer heating up over here. My uh, not fryer, but my 
Spring fire heating up. And we're gonna come back, y'all. We're gonna have us a nice plate. One more here. See that? You don't want your tempura mix too thick. If you get it too thick, you're gonna have a big thick coating. You know how you got that big thick coating of fish? I mean batter. And you can't taste the fish, you don't want that. You want a nice thin coating of bread. And that's why you want your uh, batter to be thin. Like that. One more in here, y'all. You can do shrimp like this, chicken like this, anything like this, y'all. So anyway, y'all, we're going to step off here. I'm going to get my fries going in here in the air fryer. We're going to come back, and we're going to have some old school fish and chips. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, y'all, let me put this here. I'm going to put this here on my, see how pretty and nice and crispy these are? Look at that. Nice and crispy, golden brown. So we're going to set this to the side. We're going to get our fries ready, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Check this out here, y'all. Check this out. Dylan's not here today. He's going to miss out. Look at that. Nice, golden brown, crispy catfish. I got mine. Like I said, if y'all want to use uh, tartar sauce, you can. But I like malt vinegar. A lot of time with my, with my, uh, y'all listen to this. I'm going to put it right up to the camera. Look at this. Look at that crispiness. You see how thin that fish, the crispiness is in that. Look at that. How thin that coating is. That's very important. I like to dip it in my malt vinegar. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling y'all, if you got access to an Asian store, go get the Kikimon brand computer battery. All you do is add water, y'all. I'm telling you. We used to use it, I'm telling you, it did come from a plate that you own all homemade, but when it came to tempura batter, mm, we bought this. Mm, mm, mm. A little bit more. I can double dip today, it's only me. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I got a fly in my kitchen. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to close the video out where I can eat good. So if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time. Have a blessed old crew soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.